I'm gonna show you how to create a stand store using Funnel Freedom. Now, if you've never heard of a stand store, essentially it's a place where you can go and sell digital products, whether it's a online course or a mentoring program. You might've seen some Instagrammers or people online using a stand store to sell their digital products, right? So as you can see, there's tons of people using a stand store. But the cool thing is I'm gonna show you how you can replace a stand store and use funnel freedom instead that way you have everything all in one place now the only downside to using a stand store and then another funnel builder such as click funnels or system.io is you have all your funnel builders and your stand store and all your softwares in different places i'm going to show you how you can replicate a stand store using funnel freedom and if you've never heard of funnel freedom it's an all-in-one business solution where you can build funnels, have your contacts, build online courses, and in this case, even build a stand store for your online business. Let me show you how it works. Now, as you can see, we're inside of funnelfreedom.io. Now, before we can go and create a stand store, we need to create a Stripe and a PayPal account. That way you can start collecting payments from your future customers. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to stripe.com and create an account, okay? Stripe is the place where you're gonna be able to collect money, okay? So this is the one, create an account using Stripe and then go to paypal.com and also create an account inside of PayPal. That's the first thing you need to do. So once you've created a Stripe and a PayPal account, you're gonna to wanna to go back to Funnel Freedom and click on payments. So inside of payments, you're gonna click Click on integrations and inside of integrations you're gonna connect your stripe account and your PayPal account down here okay so super easy to do once you do that you can start collecting payments to your funnel freedom account so once everything is integrated we need to create an offer that way we can sell as a digital product so you're gonna want to go to memberships inside of funnel freedom under courses, you're gonna click on products. Now you should have a course inside of here. This is where you're gonna go and sell your digital products. Now, if you don't know how to create a course inside of Funnel Freedom, I'll have another video showing you exactly how to create an entire course, but you'll see here, it's super easy. You can just create a product right here and you'll have a course. This is an example course that I have here, but what you need to create is an offer, okay? So under courses, you're gonna go to offers, okay? This is the thing you're actually selling okay so you're gonna go to create offer and we're just gonna call this test offer course products we're gonna go uh, this is the actual course you created so we'll just put I'm gonna put freedom accelerator free course and then type this is gonna be a one-time fee of course you can do reoccurring if you want so you know $37 a month or however you want to do that amount. We're going to do something like 497 and then price text override. We can just leave that as is and then create. Okay. So now it's going to go ahead and create the offer. As you can see, the offer is already there. You can go ahead and add a picture. If you'd like, you can add a description. I'm just going to leave it as is just so we can get done with the video. But as you see, it says draft. So you need to switch this out to published and hit save. Okay. So now your actual offer is ready to go. Okay. So I'm going to go back to offers and you can see test course offer $497. It's ready to go. So now that we have the offer in place, we can actually go and create the stand store inside of funnel freedom. So to do that, you're going to want to go to funnel freedom and then click on sites and under sites, you're going to go to websites here at the top. Okay. You're going to click on websites and we're going to go to new new website and we're going to click on from templates. You're going to hit continue and under the search, you're going to click on, or you're going to type in link tree. You're going to see a bunch of things pop up. Let's actually do this. There we go. Link tree together. And you're going to see a bunch of templates that you can use. Okay. So we're just going to click on one and we can always customize it. So we're going to click on this one right here. It's going to go ahead and build this template out. So once it's selected, just hit continue and there you go. Now it's going to build out the template. So as you can see, now we have a stand store template that we can start building from super easy to go inside of here and start changing photos. You could change the words, the pictures, the colors. If I go inside of here, I can go and change out this image. Super easy to do. As you you can see on the right, I could just 
go and upload from media library. You can even create an image using AI, but I'm gonna go and just click on one of my photos here. I'll click on this one. I'm gonna upload file. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna click on this. And as you can see, now we have our stand store photo. Uh, but the next thing we wanna do is create a pop-up for actual product that we're selling. So before I add the pop-up, I'm just gonna change some simple things here. Growth marketing, I'm just gonna say Jonathan Montoya's store, something and simple and then you know something here I help nine to fivers quit their job super easy now this first button I'm gonna use this as the product that we're selling okay so I'm gonna click on this and we're gonna change the text to get my course that helps you quit your job okay obviously that looks ugly but i'm just gonna let me see course it helps you quit your job i'm gonna put this in one line there we go course helps you quit your job okay whatever your course is all right we just put that as a test course okay but this is gonna be your course whatever it is you know an ebook a digital product facebook mentoring whatever your product actually is okay so now what we need to do is we need to create a pop-up that way people can actually go and buy this product okay so the cool thing is people now can buy directly inside of here whereas a stand store gets people to a different website okay so with this I'm gonna go ahead and create a pop-up okay so I'm gonna go to pop-up settings and we're gonna add a row so we're gonna click on add row we're gonna click on one column and then we're gonna add element okay so this is where we add the order form so we're gonna go inside of element and type in order form and we're gonna click on the one step order so there we go now people can go and fill this out and now they can buy your product okay so I'm gonna go inside of here we don't need the shipping address here because we're not shipping anything so I'm gonna go to advanced so under advanced we're gonna go to where it says show shipping and we're gonna change this to hide shipping so it's a lot more cleaner a lot quicker for people to go and buy your product we're gonna go back to general. You can customize this however you want. Now, an important thing is under general, you're gonna wanna scroll all the way to the bottom and under sales action, you're gonna wanna go to website URL. Now, what happens here is when someone buys your product, you're gonna wanna redirect them to a thank you page or some page where you can be like, hey, this is how you get access to your product. This is how you get access to the Facebook group, wherever it is that you wanna send them to after they buy the actual product, okay? So button action, you're gonna to wanna to go to website URL and we can come back to this, but right now just go to website URL and then we can go and add a thank you page after. Now the next thing is we wanna make sure that the button is working inside of your stand store. So I'm gonna click out of this pop-up settings and this is the button that we chose. So I'm gonna click on this button here and we're gonna scroll down on the right let me move my face here and we want to make sure that the pop-up comes up okay so as you can see link to and then open pop-up okay that's what we want so when people click on this link we want that pop-up to appear because this is where they go and purchase your product and once that's done we can go ahead and publish this so on the top right where it says publish we're gonna click on that you're gonna want to add this to your domain so whatever your domain is this is the one I've chosen and added to my funnel freedom account so I'm gonna save that and now we can go ahead and publish this and we're good to go. So now I'm gonna go to back after we publish. So I'm gonna go back here. It's gonna take us back to the main menu. And once I go back, as you can see, our stand store is inside our funnel freedom account, okay? So as you can see, it says Linktree growth marketing. I'm just gonna go to these little three dots. I'm gonna click on settings. We're gonna change this. I'm gonna change this to stand store, Jonathan path. I'm just gonna put whatever you want that to be. So it's gonna be whatever your domain is and then the path. So I'm just gonna put buy now. Doesn't really matter. This is all up to you. I'm gonna update that page. So once you've saved that, the next thing is we need to add a product to the stand store, okay? So super easy to do. You're gonna click again on these three dots. You're gonna click on products. Remember we created the products under offers. So we're gonna go and add a product and we're gonna drop down products. And remember we named it test offer course. So whatever the product actually is, you're gonna click on that. And the price is just simply gonna be whatever we chose the price inside of offers. So we're gonna put test offer course and that's gonna be the $497 price. If you ever wanna change that, again, you're gonna go to membership 
and then under offers, you can always change that price, okay? Product name, just leave it whatever it is, and then we could save this product, okay? So as you can see, now we have the product added. You can see the 497. So now when somebody goes and they click on the pop-up, it's gonna say 497 and then test offer course or whatever you named the product, super easy. I'm gonna go back to Linktree. The only thing here you can see, it still says Linktree Growth Marketing. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click on this. We're just gonna change this up. We're gonna go to settings. Under settings, you can see you can change the domain. The favicon URL is simply just the picture of the stand store. So if you ever send the link to anybody, that's the picture that it shows, okay? Not a huge deal, but I do wanna change the name here. I'm just gonna put, again, stand store. Jonathan path again we could do whatever we want I'm just gonna put you know stand store or buy now whatever we wanted to put okay everything here is good if you ever have trackings if you're doing ads you can all put that inside of here okay I'm gonna save that and it's good to go so the next thing we need to do is we need to add some automations okay so our store is looking good I could even go inside of here click on this preview link and as you can see this is what the store is looking like if I click on this, you can see now I can go and purchase this product, okay? So when I go and purchase this product, that money's gonna go either to my Stripe or PayPal account, whatever someone chooses, and that goes directly into my Funnel Freedom account. Super, super easy, super cool. But what we need to do is we need to add an automation, that way we can send people the correct course, and that way they know exactly what to do next. So to create the automation for your stand store, you're gonna wanna go to where it says automation inside of Funnel Freedom. And we're gonna create a brand new workflow, okay? So where it says create workflow, we're gonna click on that. We're gonna start from scratch, sit, hit continue. And inside of here, we can start building out our new trigger and workflow, okay? So we're gonna go to add new trigger and we're gonna type on order form submission, okay? This is when someone buys your product. We're gonna click on this and we're gonna click on add filters. Under filters, we're gonna go to in a funnel website and we're gonna click on Stand Store Jonathan, right? This is the actual website that we created, okay? So we know when that's triggered, we want them to go through this sequence, okay? We're gonna save trigger. So once that happens, the next thing we wanna do is give them access to the actual course itself, okay? So we're gonna click on plus right here and we're gonna type in membership grant offer, okay? So we're gonna click on this and remember the offer that we created. So this is the test offer course. Again, this is whatever you created. So we're gonna click on this. We're gonna click on save action on the bottom right. I'm gonna move my face so you can see it the save action. We're going to click on that. And I want to do one more thing here. I'm going to change this new workflow. I'm going to put stand store workflow. Okay. I'm going to put test just so I know that this is a test for myself. But as you can see, there we go. That's all we have to do. Now, of course, you can always add more things inside of here if you wanted to, right? So if you want to hit plus and we can add, you know, we can add a certain tag if we wanted. So if you wanted to, you know, add contact tag, we can always put, you know, whatever tag you want to assign them with, right? So bot, whatever the course is called, right? Bot IG course or something like that. Let's just say you have an Instagram course called Instagram course, right? We can always add a new tag, okay? I always like to add tags that way I can know exactly where people are at inside of my Funnel Freedom account. You don't need to do this, but I like to do that just so I know exactly what people are buying, all that good stuff, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and that's good to go. Now we have an entire workflow for our stand store when people buy our product, okay? So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back to workflow and as you can see, there it is, a stand store workflow test, okay? But one thing that's really important is you'll see that it says draft, okay? So what we need to do is we need to publish this. So we're gonna click on this and and on the top right, we need to switch this to publish, okay? So super important, I wanted to show you that. That way you know it's published. If it's not published, it's not gonna work and people are not gonna get the product
product that they bought okay so if i save that now and go back to workflow now it's published and when someone buys the product now that workflow is going to kick in so once we've created the membership grant access we need to create one more workflow automation okay so this is important because this first automation simply gives them access to the course but now we need to send them an automated email saying hey here's your course login information okay so super easy to do all you're going to do is create workflow again start from scratch hit continue and then inside of here i'm going to change this to stan store welcome email okay just so we know exactly what it is okay so welcome email okay we're going to go to add new trigger and then we're going to go to grant offer access granted okay so all that means is they have access to the course now okay so we're going to click on this and then we're going to add filter under filter we're going to click on offer and then under offer we're going to click on the offer that they bought okay so test offer course and then save trigger so now what we want to do is send an email okay so we're going to click on this we're going to type in email and we're gonna send this email. But as you can see, you could send voice messages, DMs, even Instagram DMs, all kinds of cool things, okay? So I'm just gonna do send email for now. We're gonna go to subject, I'm gonna put hey, and then what we can do here is I can put hey, contact, first name, exclamation, here's your course, or whatever it is, okay? So however you wanna do that. And then don't worry about templates. Essentially, you can go and create these templates and then add the templates inside of here. But just to keep it simple, you can also create the emails right here. That way you don't have to go and create a template, okay? So just a heads up, but super easy. So we're just gonna put hello and then whatever the name is. So I'm gonna go to custom values right here. I'm gonna go to contact, first name. Thank you for buying. And then we could add the course name, but you could also go to custom values, membership contact, offer title. Thank you for buying. And then it's gonna pull up the actual offer, whatever you named it. Here is how you get access to the program. And then you can go to custom values, membership contact, and then where it says login, url okay super cool because it brings everything in for you and it just gives them access instantly okay and then i always like to have like a facebook group just so people can have that community so if you have a facebook group you can say hey here is how you get access to the facebook group if you don't have one that's totally cool but you know i'm just gonna put whatever the group url is facebook group url and then you know go go to facebook go find the group you could highlight that click on this little link button here and then whatever the facebook group is right facebook.com you know slash group okay i don't know what the group is obviously so i'm gonna hit save and there we go it's gonna have a facebook group and then hope you crush it with this program jonathan montoya okay and that's it obviously you can add a photo if you want you can make it longer but this is just a simple email so they can get access okay so i'm gonna hit save action and we're gonna save this actually before we do that remember we want to hit publish and then save it and that's good to go now uh, you can see if we go back here now we have our stand store welcome email and then our workflow okay so both are ready to go both are published and you can start making money i hope this video was of value on how to build a stand store using funnel freedom if you want access to funnel freedom i'm gonna leave a link down in the youtube description not only can you create a stand store you can go ahead and promote multiple different affiliate products in literally seconds so we'll show you exactly how to get started with funnel freedom and so many other things that you can do with it. I'll leave a link down below. And with that being said, we'll see you on the next video. God bless.